The Z7 has a new range of creative picture controls. These can be used to add a filter type look to your images, enabling you to upload your JPEGs already customized to your favorite social media platform. One of the great features on the Z7 camera is the ability to record user settings. This enables you to record your favorite settings for a given genre of photography. Here I'm setting my favorite settings for long exposure landscape photography, but I can set whatever I want for any genre of photography, be it wildlife, sports, portraiture. This enables me to have easy access to my settings whenever I come to shoot that particular scene. The Nikon Z7 allows you to record a log profile. The new Nikon N-Log will give you better detail in highlights and shadows. This means that when it comes to grading in post, the footage will have a cinematic look and feel to it. To get the Nikon Z7 to record in 10-bit N-Log, you will need an external recorder recording through the HDMI output. The timecode option can be found in the video shooting menu. The Nikon Z7 also has timecode. This allows you to sync more than one camera together, saving you time at the edit stage. Start by adding split screen view to your eye menu. Once you've done this, you can now use split screen view to check areas of focus simultaneously on your image. You can see foreground and background or anywhere in the mid areas of your image. You can use the joystick pad or multi-selector to move around your image to check for areas of sharp focus in both the foreground, background or mid layers. When you're using multiple exposure in the Nikon Z7, there's a new option called overlay shooting. What this will do is overlay the first shot on top of the second one. That means that you can make sure that both of your shots are in line with each other and your subject is exactly where you want them to be in the frame. To optimize the battery life on your Nikon Z7, you can go into the custom settings menu, choose C, which is timers AE lock, and C3, power off delay. This enables you to customize how long the playback, menus, and image review settings will stay on for. You can also use the toggle switch on the side of the EVF to change whether or not your EVF is on, the monitor is on, or both are on. Changing these settings will help optimize your battery life. On the Nikon Z7, using Auto Area AF, you can track people and their faces as they move throughout your frame. Once you've selected Auto Area AF, focus normally either using back button focus or half depressing the shutter to acquire the subject you wish to track. You can use the electronic viewfinder or monitor on the back of the screen to use the Auto Area AF function. Once you see the red square around your subject, that means you are tracking and it is in sharp focus. In the camera's continuous shooting menu, you can choose from single frame, continuous low. You can adapt this to three frames, four frames, or five frames a second. You can also choose continuous high, which will fire at 5.5 frames a second. Then you'll also find continuous high extended, which will fire in the Z7 at nine frames per second as a maximum. When the Nikon Z7 is set to single release mode, the camera will fire once once you press the shutter button. When you then let go and fire again, the camera will then fire at one single frame. This is what it looks like through the viewfinder. Your Nikon Z7 can shoot in a number of different continuous modes. First thing you need to do is make sure that you have view all in continuous turned on. You'll head into your custom settings menu, then shooting and display. And in this menu, you'll find a setting called view all in continuous mode. You'll need to make sure that this setting is turned on. 